Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water, or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain someones. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow. You fight side by side and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI, or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. 
So I gave the initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted, my rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ha! Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tan. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros' aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? 
What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. There could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into SAM node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as Good well. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will lighten up. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. See you later. Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. The two of you seem close. It's been cashing me against the galaxy the moment I got her. Well, maybe not as much now, but it sure was early on. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Brecker, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things, a lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability. A metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your... Ryder, own. isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fitmaker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. 
I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. Do respect, Director Tan, but you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder's support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast, sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. Scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quote Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. 
Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. I read up on the amazing things we've seen. And the Tempest has some incredible views of the cluster. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Hey, what's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about Stasis Revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others the Protesters for this. have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of Stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources and there's nowhere to put them. We settled Eos. There's no space down there for a few extra? It's not that simple, Ryder. Everything Eos produces right now is accounted for. And if we send soldiers to a research outpost, there'll be trouble. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty. What's too. happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. I wouldn't think that's even possible. You and me both, but Sam, well, I guess supercomputers have a different view of things. They're in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott, is that you? 
What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma, on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? I don't know how to say this, but he's dead, Sarah. What? It was a freak accident. But it's Dad. He can't tie. He... I know. It's been hard on everyone. I didn't get to say goodbye. No one did. What about finding home? Dad kept telling me how beautiful it would be. Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. At least that's something. I should be there with you. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Right. At least Mom and Dad are back together. Somewhere. We will be too. Right here. I hope so. I... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remains stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. The blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Dr. Arbordana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. You need a crack AI programmer to create a virus like that. Yes. Only my unique adaptions prevented permanent damage. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. If you resort to violence, so will the leadership. And they have the militia. We're not the enemy. Why is it so hard to push a button and help Mom? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find... anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this... They'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Another one? Damn it. This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. You all keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and... and being nice. Bad people, giving you free things and helping you set up. So inconsiderate. Right? They keep bringing things. Tables and chairs and this bar and lights. Wait, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean, <sighs> yeah, I'm a dirty squirrel. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps 
My files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti, complaints to Tan. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Detecting Pathfinder Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Avena as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed into your head. Who am I talking to right now? A friend. Our movement sent the virus to save you. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? The disconnect was... very sudden. I'm grateful, just woozy. It'll pass. See, this is what our movement's all about stopping. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. So where are you running this puppet show from? Our sanctuary. I'll ask Knight if you can come visit. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but... Watch your email. Bye.